went to the school not unlike this, there were two grumpy teachers. They never smiled, they never laughed, they were my seven and the sneezes. They grumped and sat at students as they tried to teach them. Their students tried to cheer them up, but simply couldn't reach them. Every day was very dull, no brightness anywhere. The students were discouraged, but the teachers didn't care. Some students even fell asleep because they were so bored. What could they do to get their long lost happiness restored? So the students gave them special gifts and proved how they could learn. But all they got for their goodies was humbug in return. Sleep and the sneeze and you got something special just for you. Two scarves we made you to keep your cozy all the winter through.
almost time back here. We just don't have the patience to see all of you so merry when we get back after lunch you'll read the dictionary. The dentist! So all the, so all the students went to lunch dejected and depressed. Except for Bobby crying and pretending not to lift the rest. Although the rest of the students regarded the boys as strange. These two brave lives resulted in making change. They barely received the
hope along the way you've had a little fun. Now it's time to say goodbye until vacation days are through. Remember that you all have gifts and I believe in you. She always gives the us that and made us feel so good. If anyone could motivate us, Fendi would sure could. I see two girls still there that you might recognize. That's me when I was still a child. And me, I can believe my eyes. We can straighten up the room or anything you need. Thank you, Miss Fezziway, for teaching us how to read. Thank you, Miss Fezziway, for everything you do. We hope that someday we can both be teachers just like you. There's no doubt, Carolyn Susan, that you can be all you wish to be. But now I have some gifts for you, for all you bearded me. I've had these books for many years and cherished every page because my teacher gave them to me when I was your age. Thank you, Miss Fessy, when we don't know what to say. Don't ever lose that Sprite, Carolyn Susan. Happy holidays.
earlier that all because it's high school it's supposed to be strange, but uninspired students is a thing that needs to change. Perhaps when they were younger had their gifts been called to them, their dreams would still be real to them. They'd be more motivated. But still there's Bobby and Tim. Who could ever squash their dreams? They never even finished school. They disappeared, it seems. We turn into the kind of teachers we could do without. Instead of pride and confidence, we build our minds with doubt. Just look at all our poor old students drifting in the trance. We wish we had made a difference while we had the chance. But things don't have to go this way. A spark is still in sight. We still have time to change our ways. We still have to make this right. You mean we get a second chance? You mean it's not too late? Let's get back to your class where all your students wait. They have 
celebration. And, and after that, each school day will fill with expectations. The teacher is reading this part, the stopping is exciting, the questions are for both of us, the clothes are inviting. So, once in a school, not unlike this, there were two cheerful teachers. They always smiled, they always laughed, they were excited and entertaining. Their students sat for vacation, their mood was so good, but the teachers had one thing to do, make the job complete. Just never ever lose your spark. And boys, 